What's up, YouTube people? It's your boy, Patty McNinja. And last week, I shared my thoughts on the surprise hit video game Pal World. And to say that this was a hit is a bit of an understatement. It's absolutely shattering records right now. And that financial success, unfortunately, has also come with a lot of controversy. And so, obviously, with this video, I want to talk about that. So, without further ado, let's rock. But before we get started discussing the chaos that has ensued since Power World has dropped, I do want to walk back something real quick that I said last week in my first impressions video. You also have to keep your base safe because there are base raids in Power World. Now they could either be wild pals or they could be these bandits that come and raid your base. Unfortunately, they're not too difficult. Honestly, after my first raid, I realized, oh, these really aren't that big of a deal. And I would just throw out a pal, have them deal with it and kind of carry on with what I'm doing. I'm glad that they're in the game because they're kind of a breath of fresh air. There's something else to do in the game, but they're not difficult at all. And they must have heard me say that because the literally the same day that I posted that video talking shit about the, the raids in Power World, I got raided while playing it later that night. And typical raid, thought I took care of my business, but they actually snuck in the back and got inside my base and burnt it to the ground. The base that I literally spent hours building burnt down in like 30 seconds. And I was devastated. I literally considered just quitting the game. I was like, screw this. I wasted so much time building this entire base just for it to get burnt to the ground. But I guess that's what I get for talking so much shit in that video. Now, I do stand by what I said. I do think that there still needs to be work on the raids but I will be damn sure to take them way more seriously than I did prior to that raid. Speaking of my review, I mentioned in that video how surprised I was by how much I enjoyed Power World. I kind of went into it assuming it wouldn't be very good and then I would just play it for a little bit to kind of laugh at it. Let's try out this Pokemon with guns game, but I didn't have very high expectations. But after I played Power World, I had a feeling it was going to do pretty well financially just because it was so fun and addicting, but I had no idea it was going to go absolutely bananas. Despite Despite being on day one Game Pass, the first six days since Pal World released, it has sold over 8 million copies. According to SteamDB, it is number two all time, all time peak players on Steam, second to only PUBG. It is the most played Japanese developed game ever. According to Circana's player engagement tracker, Power World players surpassed Fortnite on Xbox on January 22nd. They played more than 200 minutes on average that day. And those numbers are insane, especially considering Pocket Pair is a relatively unknown studio. I mentioned earlier that Pal World is the most played Japanese developed game of all time. The game it beat out for that title is actually Elden Ring, which of course was developed by From Software that has a dedicated, and I mean dedicated fan base. So the fact that a game like Pal World from a relatively unknown studio is able to beat out a great game like Elden Ring that already has a dedicated fan base is really impressive. Sure, some of that success can be attributed to the whole Pokemon with guns thing. When that trailer first dropped, people, myself included, were intrigued to see if this was a real game. Like I already mentioned, I had pretty low expectations going into Pal World. I saw the marketing, I was intrigued by it, but I didn't really think it was going to be a good game. So the marketing did work. It got people's in attention, it got people intrigued, but you don't get the insane numbers that Power World is getting right now 
without it also being a pretty good game. Yes, it has some flaws, but overall, I think it's a pretty good game, and I'm not the only one. If you look at its Steam page right now, it has mostly positive reviews, so people are really enjoying Power World. Unfortunately, not everyone is excited about Pal World's success. Pokemon purists are outraged. They are basically writing dissertations on Twitter comparing the Pals and Pokemon. You can literally go down the rabbit hole on Twitter, which of course I do not suggest you do, but you will find screenshot after screenshot of Pals and Pokemon side by side with body parts circled and arrows pointing to other Pokemon comparing the two games. It feels like they're trying to explain how we faked the moon landing. Don't get me wrong, I am a fan of Pokemon. I've been playing these games since I was a little kid. I literally have a Pokemon tattoo and I do think the Pals look pretty similar to Pokemon, close to that you might get sued territory. I literally said that last week on my first impressions video. It's insane to me how cut and paste the pals are from Pokemon. It's almost like they're asking Nintendo to sue them, which is a bold strategy because Nintendo is known for taking legal action against people. So it, it wouldn't be surprising at all if we found out that Pocket Pair got sued. I just think that everyone needs to pump the brakes. The people running to Twitter to defend a billion dollar franchise just need to chill out, especially the people sending death threats to the folks at Pocket Pair. You did hear me correctly. People upset over Pal World, and I'm assuming its similarity to Pokemon, have been sending death threats to Pocket Pair employees. Pocket Pair's community manager, Bucky, posted this on Twitter. Frankly, working through all my DMs and emails, I promise. However, you'll excuse me if I skip over the death threats, threats to the company, and massively outlandish claims. If you're capable of writing like an actual human being, though, I'll reply ASAP. I hate that I have to say this, this should go without saying, but I'm going to say it anyways. It is one thing to go to Twitter and post screenshots of pals and Pokemon side by side. It is a completely other thing to send literal death threats to developers because you got your feelings hurt over a video game. If you feel the need to write a death threat to anyone over a video game or anything for that matter. You need to seek therapy. You ain't right in the head. Moving on to a slightly less serious topic, much of the discourse surrounding Power World, and I have been guilty of this myself, is Nintendo gonna sue Pocket Pair? And we're a bit closer to an answer to that question. The Pokemon Company released an official statement on January 25th. We have received many inquiries regarding another company's game released in January 2024. I wonder who they're talking about. We have not granted any permission for the use of Pokemon intellectual property or assets in that game. We intend to investigate and take appropriate measures to address any acts that infringe on intellectual property rights related to Pokemon. We will continue to cherish and nurture each and every Pokemon and its world and work to bring the world together through Pokemon in the future. Now, the Pokemon company didn't say Pal World or Pocket Pair, but come on, we aren't stupid. We know who you're talking about. I'm sure that there's some legal reason why they don't call them out directly, but you literally said January 2024. I wonder what game that looked a lot like Pokemon came out in January 2024. Now on Pocket Pair's side, their CEO did state that their legal team cleared the game prior to launch and that no legal action has been taken against their company. Now I'm not rooting for anybody to get sued, especially if that means people will lose their job if a lawsuit is filed. I really just hope that Pal World gets to continue to exist. 
pocket pair finally has a hit on their hand and i'm really intrigued to see what they'll do to make the game better because yes like i said earlier i do think overall it is a good game but it has a lot of flaws i think even the biggest power world defender would admit objectively there are things that you can approve upon maybe you don't agree on my list of the things that I think that they should fix first, but I think everybody can agree that even though it's a surprisingly fun and addicting game, there are plenty of warts that could be fixed. Power World looks like a below average Switch game. Unfortunately, it's not on the Switch. It's on PC and Xbox, so it shouldn't look as bad as it does. The PAL AI is absolute trash. They are annoyingly stupid in this game. And there's a few quality of life improvements that I think they should prioritize that would make PAL World even more fun to play. Now it is an early access game preview, so I will give it the benefit of the doubt that they're eventually they're going to get to those things. So I do hope that cooler heads prevail and nobody gets sued and that PAL World continues to exist. Mostly because I think Power World has the potential to be a great game. It's already a fun and addicting game despite its flaws, but it has potential to be way more than that. But also I hope that it continues to get better and continues to make money because then it can be the wake up call that Nintendo and the Pokemon company has needed for a while now. Now I'm not going to sit here and say that all of Power World's success is contributed to the fact that they put it on PC, but you'd have to be blind not to see that that has a lot to do with it. There is a player base that only plays on PC and Pokemon games aren't available on PC. So they've obviously been clamoring for a game like Power World for a while now. And Pocket Pair was really smart to put this game on PC. So I hope that when all the dust settles, the Pokemon company will recognize because they obviously like making money and Power World is making a lot of money right now, mostly because it's on PC. So I hope that the Pokemon company finally recognizes that they should be putting their games on PC too. But at the very, very least, I hope that Pal World is a wake up call to the Pokemon company, that they can't just keep churning out the same crappy game year after year and just print money. There's a new kid on the block. Pal World, and I know this might feel like a knee jerk reaction, but I just read you those insane numbers. Yes, those numbers are gonna fade. A hundred percent they're gonna fade. Fortnite did not stay at its peak. No game stays at its peak. But it does feel like Pal World is a legit contender. And again, I hope that this is a wake up call to the Pokemon company. This is the kick in the ass they needed to finally make their games better. But as always, those are just my thoughts. I'd love to hear yours in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, which you obviously did if you made it this far, do me a favor and smash that like button as the kids say. It's just a quick and easy way to tell YouTube that you enjoyed this video and they should push it to other people. If you did enjoy this video, uh, definitely consider subbing and dinging that bell. That way you're notified anytime I post another video. I try to post weekly gaming related content. So if you enjoy that type of content, definitely consider subscribing and digging that bell. But until next video, take it easy. What's up YouTube people? It's your boy Patty McNinja and this is my boy Yoshi aka Kitty Boy and we were just talking and we agree that since you made it this far in the video, you might as well subscribe. You wouldn't want to disappoint Kitty Boy, would you?